This is a brilliant app for creating real sounds. It's called Thumb Jam. This works on the iPad, it also works on the iPhone, and I have to tell you, if ever I'm trying to create vibration, this is the app that I generally use. You've got a vast amount of instruments and a vast amount of control over this. Too much to show you on one video, but I'll show you some of the, well, the bits that you need to know to get started. One of the first things you might want to do with Thumb Jam is change the sound. And it says here, change instrument. So now I can just scroll around here and find myself um, an instrument I want. So let's go for grand piano. And all of a sudden it's turned into a grand piano. The quality of the sound of the instruments is actually extremely good. Uh, I'm not a musician, but I can tell you now that... That sounds very much like a violin to me. One of the sounds I use a lot, is, certainly for creating vibration, is the theremin. And you'll hear this can go really low frequency, which is absolutely incredible. You'll get some really nice low frequency sounds and high frequency as well. But if you want to have a bit more fun, why not get yourself something like a guitar? Here's a uh, JR Zendrix. Now this is another feature that I'd like to show you and that is pitch bending. All you need to do is basically as you move the iPad, it works on the accelerometer and it can bend the pitch of the notes for you. Another nice feature about this is what they call increasing or decreasing the span. If I decrease here you can see the amount of notes has actually gone down so there are a lot less notes there. So you can increase them by just pressing the plus arrow and you'll get a lot more. If you want to change the actual pitch, the octaves, go really low, go up, Wow! So you've got a lot of control over this thing. You can split the keyboard, you can do loads with this. It is an amazing app that's well worth playing with. If you're working with somebody with a hearing loss who really wants to hear sound and feel sound. If this app has any problem at all, it is the fact that occasionally it'll do stuff that you don't quite know what it's done because it is so vast, but it is absolutely incredible the controllability you've got over this thing. You can slide up and down notes or you can play them as separate keys. So Thumb Jam is really nice because you don't have to be that precise and you can get some really nice clear sounds from it. Thumb Jam, well worth a look.